last RPJ as a mission school, the first building was a single block of six classrooms between what is now the main block and the sixth form block. And then um, when Brother Lawrence Spitzig, whose picture is there, but when he came in then he started building on a uh, large scale. So over the period of time, the population of the school grew and grew and it became an eight-stream school in the lower secondary. So we had to do a lot of fundraising. So in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, into the 80s, fundraising in school was a big thing each year. Brother Lawrence uh, started a canteen day. And the first year they did so, the amount that got in was 5,000. And eventually, by the time I came here, the, the thing was still continued, the canteen day. And there were years at the end were bringing in up to 80,000 and more a year, so it was a big, big thing. I am Subramaniam Ayatre. They call me Subra. I was a discipline teacher, Red Crescent youth officer, senior science teacher. I've been here from 1968 to 93. There was no lawyer lab, there was only a general science lab and it is half equipped, it was a classroom converted into a lab. And I had to take my students, go to Catholic high school for practicals. I talked to Brother Lawrence, what do you think Subra? I said we need labs, that's all. So we agreed, five classrooms were converted into three labs and a preparation room. We did it and we introduced science stream. The school has improved with that lab. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May peace be upon you, dear the Salians, past and present. I was once the principal of La Salle PJ in the 90s. My vision for La Salle has always been to make it a relevant school at any point of time. La Salle PJ, its motto is love and wisdom. Love is basic human character. We have to have wisdom in whatever we do. All human being has, has to have these two characters. I'm A. Rajendran, but they refer to me as Raj. I was posted here in 1984, so I was teaching Form 6 plus track and field, and uh, well, I had my glorious days here. In the 80s, we were using more chalk and talk, I think. Then later, they went, they moved up towards uh, whiteboards, you know, marker pens and all that. The facilities were the same, nothing was upgraded. I brought all values that I learned here, administration strategies that I picked up from Brother Felix. I tried it out in other schools, it was very successful, you see? and I treasure my days here, and they are, they are my library of memories actually. I'm Mrs. N.K. Tan. I had taught in the school for 33 years, and uh, spending almost half of my lifetime. started in 1975, I retired in 2007. I love the students here after teaching all the boys. Uh, the heart is very forgiving among boys. On Quentin Day, there are a lot of activities and uh, they bring in stuff and, uh, for the school to, 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 to raise funds. In the whole process of it and then setting up uh, stalls during Quentin Days, we enjoyed it very much together with the students. The students also help to build the entrepreneur spirits in them. They love every minute of the school canteen and they look forward uh, to Quentin Day every year. Hello, my name is Teo Bun Huang. I'm from uh, SMK Lhasa PJ. I came in last year, 2015. I'm the current principal here. Lhasa to me is a very special school. Especially this is the first time that I'm uh, teaching in uh, boys' schools. Lhasa is a multicultural school. As a principal, I will rely to maintain the ethos of the school. Especially this is a missionary school and then we have some uh, help from the government and from the community and also from the neighbourhood. So now I think the school is also trying to upgrade its facilities and moving towards uh, a lot of technological advancements happening in this world. I guess the school will have to keep up with its time. So uh, we have to equip the boys uh, not only to, to the skills, but uh, to seek knowledge, but also the skills to, to seek knowledge. Teachers would like to have projector in the classroom, but unfortunately in SMK Lasal, we are short of LCD projectors. Teaching are using the conservative method, the margin paper, 
colour pencil, chalk and talk, which I think that it will not create a better lesson in the class. It's such a shame that uh, uh, at this point in time, we still don't have a projector for the use of teachers and students. Students nowadays, uh, you know, they like to see things. And if you, if you can have these facilities in the classrooms, it will be very effective. We are not progressive enough to impart knowledge in the new ways. We need that. This is a basic necessity of teaching and learning nowadays. We would like to appeal all the Lasallin to come back and give back to the school. In the spirit of founder, let us serve the last, the least and the lost. I would like to take this opportunity to get past students and present students and parents and the public to help us in our quest to be relevant to the 21st century. Lasallians have a thought for this school. Come, Lasall always welcomes its old students. Just spare a thought for the poor school which brought you up. You can be overseas anywhere or in Malaysia. Please feel free to donate to the school. We truly need your help. Our goal is to raise 21 units of LCD projector in every classroom. The approximate cost for this will be 60000 If we're able to achieve the target, we would like to have two smart board too for the school. Do we have all the facilities that the other schools have? We are working with the 100% project. Please visit the website and start donating. The Poor Lhasa. Lhasa.